crazy. All right, let's do this. Welcome, Ocho Trivia Challenge. Week one, game five, last game of the week. We have the runner-ups returning in Roldale, second place last season in the regular season and in the playoffs, facing off against the Chicken Hawks, making their debut in what I can only assume will be a bitter rivalry from here on out. Um, Roldale last season, second in double percentage, 10 and four, very strong season. Chicken Hawks, first game ever. A lot of potential, very excited to see what they do. Um, this should be a really entertaining game. Very excited to get into it. Um, so for the new team, just really briefly, I know Cam's watched the game. 10 categories, each team gets one question in each category. You have a minute to answer your question. If you're wrong, the other team has 30 seconds to steal. Um, every question's worth one point, except you get two lifelines. You get to double up one question. So that one will be worth two points. You get to phone a friend on one question. Um, the double, you need to tell me you're going to double when you see the name of the category before we start either question. So Chicken Hawks, you're going second, but you have to tell me you want to double before the first question is revealed because um, the questions are usually thematically similar, so it would give you an advantage. Um, but the phone a friend, you can see your own question before you decide to do it. When you phone a friend, you'll have 15 seconds once they answer, and then, excuse me, 30 seconds once they answer, and another 15 to decide on your final answer. Alex Griffin just came in. Perfect. So now we have every member of both teams. We're going to get started. Alex, your team is going first. It's I the NFL. Does anyone want to double? Uh, you might want to specify to a team that we can't double our own niche this season. Yeah, this season, you cannot double your own niche categories. And you also must double something. So you can't just hold on to it. And if you're winning at the end, you just don't have to use it. It has to be used at some point. So if you don't use it by category 10, that'll automatically be used. Um, so yeah, NFL, does anyone want to double here in the first category? Tags, you want to start off with one? I mean, if you're okay with that, I guess I am. <laughs> okay. Well, so their niche is Pokemon, but that is their niche, so. I'm pretty good at Pokemon, and I'm fine holding on to it, but I'm also pretty good at NFL, so whatever uh, you want. I think they have a better chance of getting one than the NFL, so I think we should double this one. All right. Do it. All right, coming out hot, out of the gate with a double. Chicken Hawks, you're going to hold on to yours, sounds like. So this is for two points. There we go. Doubles on the board. This is your question, Roldale. This is for two points. Here you go. Eli Manning was originally drafted by which team? San Diego Chargers, final answer. On the board for two. This next question better be that easy because that's the easiest question yeah. of all time. Dude, shut yeah. up. You're going to have to question of all time. You're going to say that for every question we get right and you get wrong, so I guarantee you. It's all about when you use the double. You guys use it at a good spot. All right. Chicken Hawks cut the lead to one. Brett Favre was originally drafted by which team? I have no idea. I mean, there's the well, there's obvious, the obvious one. Yeah. But it's probably like, not the yeah. obvious one. I, I have no idea. That would be my only guess. Yeah, like me too. Obvious. Yeah, but I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's it's totally too I don't I don't think he was traded. You want to just go with it? 30 seconds. Uh, we're going to have to. Yeah, let's we'll just go with it. Yep. Okay. Uh, Packers, final answer. Packers, final answer. That is incorrect. Roll out 30 seconds. Land of Falcons. Falcons. Yeah, it's the Falcons. Yep. Oh, <laughs> it's so Final <laughs> Homer question. Homer question. Alex is not. That was your question. Who it wrote these? Your question. It was your question. Who Alex. wrote these? Alex, Bye. Alex is not a Falcons fan, nor was Brett Favre drafted in his lifetime. No, no better. Matt, Matt good, Rick good argument, brother. You are you are an idiot. <laughs> but. I knew it. So what also, yeah, Tags is the one who said it first, and he's not an Atlanta or a Falcons fan. Nope. Uh, yeah, Tags got that either way. All right, Chicken Hawks in a hole early on here. It's three zero. Next category is gonna be the ancient wonders of the world. We're yeah. not doubling up. No. 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 Doubling. All right, Eli, non-sports. It's time for you to prove your worth. But this is for Alex's team first. Alex, the Hanging Gardens were found in what ancient civilization? 
the B, right? Byzantine? Mesopotamian? No, uh, that's that's way too early. That's like the cradle yeah. of civilization. I, it, it, Byzantine is our, I think that's our go back on, but I, I'm pretty sure it's like Byzantine, Byzantine, something like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll, I trust you. But I could be totally off, but that just, it's just something about that seems right to me. Go with it, honestly. So, Matt, do you want, like, if I say, like, the Byzantine Empire, just Byzantine? Either of those would be the same thing to me. All right. I'll, I'll take that final answer. All right. Final answer. That is incorrect. Chicken Ox, 30 seconds to get on the board. Damn, I think I know it. Do you want us to say Mesopotamia? No, it's no. Babylon. Oh, that's definitely it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That'll be Babylon, final, final answer. answer. That's definitely right. Babylon, final answer. He's correct. You're on the board. Fuck. Nice, Spence. Let's go. Civ six, baby. <laughs> I got the B. All right. Um, so this is making it a one-point game. So you turn around very quickly and you still have your doubles. So that essentially makes the tide. Your question is, the library at which city was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world? Yep. Alexandria. 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 All right. One-point game. It is Alexandria. Nice. So both teams starting off hot here, 3-2. Um, we had a couple teams end around this level of points uh, after a whole game. So a lot of skill being shown early on. So at the end of the round, I'm going to update the scoreboard. It is now three to two and you still have your double. So like I said, virtually tied with a long, long way to go. Is a custom logo there? Wow. Yeah. Star Wars. Star Ooh. Wars. Now, Rolldale has already doubled. Even if they hadn't, they couldn't double this. Chicken Hawks, you can if you choose to. But keep in mind that if you do and you get it wrong, the other teams can steal it. And a double, what a stolen double is still worth two points. Not this worth doubling. Need, right? they, they, yeah, they got a Star Wars expert. Yo, it's not <laughs> worth doubling. This is their. Uh, no. Okay, we're good. All right. Um, so Alex, this is for you guys. It is three to two. Let's make it four to two. What is the name of the animal stormtrooper? Do back. Final answer. Well, there's the picture, but you know. Guys got the encyclopedia memorized. I thought these were really hard, but <laughs> it never matters. It never does. I oh want it to matter. I try really hard to make them difficult, and it, it just they're like, Matt. They're really difficult. Like I just don't think. You, like if I knew as much about school as I did in Star Wars, I'd have a good grades. All right. Well, it's four <laughs> two. Um, to pull back within one, Chicken Hawks. What is the name of the animal that attacked Padme in the Geonosis Arena in Episode Two? And there it is. That's way harder. <laughs> They actually say the name of it in the Dude, movie. I knew Dubak too. Dude, uh, everyone knows Dubak. <laughs> Spencer, you know you, you see you see it was it was always a uh, praying mantis guy, tiger guy, and bull guy. I didn't know their <laughs> actual names. Yeah. Just go with tiger uh, guy. Tiger guy's my best guess, to be honest. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. Thirty. I got nothing. Pack of the clones, that? dog. You are. I just, I just flat out don't know. Like, yeah, Anybody, anything? No. no idea. 15? Okay, I got nothing. No. Eli, say something. <laughs> it's a lost cat. Right. That's actually a good guess, Eli. Final answer. Final answer. All right. That's incorrect, Alex. I would like to first state that Padme looks fine as hell in this scene. And then I would like to secondly say that's a Nexu. Yo. <laughs> that is an Nexu. Wow. He's encyclopedic on yeah, it. That's yeah. impressive. Alex, a Lothcat is a thing, right? Yeah, no, no, that's why that's a good guess. They were like uh, in Rebels. Like oh, on Loth cat. I thought you just said a lost cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No. Well, anyway, 5 2. Um, but you still have your double, and you have one less niche used than Rolldale, so still a tight game. International sports is going to the next category. You want to double here? If it was soccer, I'd say yes, but sports, I no. I was going to say, if it was soccer, you would – Definitely would double it, but no. If, if, if it's sports, we could, it could be freaking ping pong, dude. It's it's not soccer, but it's it's sports that are more popular outside of the United States. 
All right, we're good. Let's not use it. All right, holding off again. Alex, you're up first. I need you to tell me the Ashes are a cricket competition between which two countries? All right, I have an idea. My best guess would be India and England because that seems kind of – those are the two biggest cricket countries in the world. And I don't know, like – I'm with you on I'm with you on India. I don't know about England though. No, England's huge in cricket. England like won the uh like cricket World Cup or whatever the fuck it is, like whatever recently. I know and obviously India and England would have a rivalry. I'm I'm wearing so the cricket hat right now, but it's not endorsement of what the answer is, to be clear. It's just my enjoyment of the game. Okay. So it could oh. be India and Pakistan. They're rivals That's, too. What do you want? Ashes. Uh, that's what I think that it's probably what Pag said more than England. 15. All right, I'm going with Pakistan and uh, India. India and Pakistan. All right, India and Pakistan, final answer. All right, India, Pakistan, final answer. That is incorrect. Big steal here for the Chicken Hawks. Do we want to just rip their other answer? Yes. Uh, uh, kind of. Yeah, yeah. India and Pakistan was my guess. Me too. So. I, was, I thought it was closer to India, but let's let's just say what they said. England and India? Yeah. All right. Nope. Final answer. Okay. It is England and Australia. Oh, Australia. Oh, that was my second guess. Damn, I should have said it. Okay. Um, so it remains 5-3. You guys both have your phone of friends. Chicken and Australia went to their double. They're not using it here, though. Chicken Ox, the Six Nations is a rugby tournament. It's between the four nations that make up Great Britain. So England, Scotland, Ireland, yeah. Wales. And what two other countries? Um, My Zealand? guess would be Australia and New Zealand. Right? That's what I would say, too. That makes sense. Yeah. But it could be India and Pakistan. Oh, yeah. But do you think Australia I, I and New know. Zealand? I, New Zealand instantly oh. came to mind, and Australia would make sense. All right. Should we? Uh, is that our guess? This is important. Yep. I say we go for it. Yep. All right. Yeah. Australia, New Zealand. All right. Final answer. That is incorrect. We're going to be a tough category. Roll Dale. Let's see what you got. I'm thinking New Zealand and Germany. Is Germany big in? I thought. I'm pretty sure. I remember seeing, like, outfits with the red, like their the German flag or whatever. But. I'd be good with that. I mean, New Zealand, it's definitely New Zealand and somewhere else. So let's keep brainstorming. So right. be, no, we don't have time to keep brainstorming. Uh, that's fine. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Matt, we'll go with uh, what do you want, Griffin? New Zealand and Germany. Final answer. Italy and France. Italy. 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 Oh, wow. France, I guess, are good at rugby. I didn't know Italy was good. And if, if they run out of time, I just take the last thing they said. So it would have been the same thing. Um, Chicken Ox, I'm very surprised you didn't call the English person you know here, but, you know. Oh, oh, I forgot Paul the Friend was a thing. Yeah, for right. real, man. So that's that's a tough break because he 100% would have known that. Yeah, um, he would have. All right. Well, anyway, it's still five. Excuse me. Did I say five, three? It should be five, two. It's five, two. Um, he's, which, at, he's at soccer practice anyway. The, the scoreboard is accurate, yes. So anyway, but like I said, your niche is here. It's Pokemon. Um, no one can double this. World L is used there. This is your niche. So this, this is your question. What regional variant is the only dual electric and psychic type Pokemon? Oh, right you, right? Whoa! Oh, you <laughs> oh is that on our turn? <laughs> no! Yo, so Pags, is it right you? I need the region as well. If it is, I'm not saying if it is. Oh. I need the region as well. Bro. I don't know what region. <laughs> what? Uh, Bro, we should kick Eli out. <laughs> Eli, you're done. Uh, Do you know any like regions? I guess, I guess uh, Raichu and Kanto. I don't know. I don't. All right, know. Raichu, Kanto. I like that. Sounds right. Matt, we'll go with that. All right, final answer. <laughs> Big break for the chicken hawks. Thank, Thank God. Thank God. It's a, 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 a lull in Raichu. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, even I knew that. It is. Yikes. Oh, it's Spencer, Eli, bro. Pokemon guy. So you guys have multiple Pokemon people on this. Yeah. Team. Oh, wow. That should be a really strong. Spencer's the biggest. Guy. Yeah. It is a lull in Raichu. That was almost a catastrophe. Um, yeah, it's already rolled that. All right. Well, it's 5 3. This makes it a one point game. You still have your doubles. You're right in this. 
What regional variant is the only dual fairy and poison type? Galarian Weezing. Hell yeah. Final answer. Oh. It is Galarian Weezing. Good cat. Okay. I don't know. Oh, I don't know that type of Pokemon. I don't know region, regional variant. I don't know what that means. We're yeah, with you guys know. next week, so I'm glad you used Pokemon here because that was very impressive. Those are very tough questions. Oh, we got um, we got all kinds of niches. We get all kinds. Did you say corn one game? I'll actually <laughs> oh, plant science, baby. Oh. The ultimate niche. Okay. There we go. It is five to four. You still have your lifelines. Oh, it is Greg. a very strong game. This is Mine a good one. Play the game of the week so far. Movies is the next category. Yeah. Chicken hogs. Let's, let's do it. Let's double it up. Let's do it. Yep. Yeah. Double. All right. Nice. So let's indicate that here. Double is active. Put that on my score sheet. Broad category, though. Roll Dale. This one's for you. What's the highest grossing live action Tom Hanks movie of all time? It's live action because his highest grossing movie is Toy Story, but that's a voice role. I need a lot. Forrest action. Gump, right? Forrest Gump. Yeah. Mine goes to Before, actually, I don't want to give too much away, but obviously they probably know some Tom Hanks movies too. Um, what else? Yeah, I'd, ha I'd have to go with that one. Same. I can't think of another one. I mean, I could, oh, but. Yeah. Oh yeah, we didn't get in until 11:30. Just, um, uh, I, yeah, I like that. 30 seconds. Better, better to yeah. just get, not give it away than give them something. Yeah. All right, we'll go Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Final answer. That would be incorrect. Chicken Hawks. What do we here. think? What do we think about <laughs> Sully? It's saving Private Ryan. Uh, saving about, Private Ryan. What about the one of the Smalley pirates? Sam. Trust me, I'm pretty Hello? sure I got it, dude. All right. It's only was not a big box there. office movie. What if it's big? It's an old movie. Saving right. Private Ryan would be my guess. That okay, works. Let's do it. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> that's incorrect. It is not Sully, though. That would be the Da Vinci Code. Oh, oh no. that's a tough one. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Yeah, we'll see. If I didn't either. So it remains by four. Let's see if you find yours any easier. Let's take the lead here. What's the highest grossing Sandra Bullock movie of all time? Easy. Easy. The blind side? Gravity. Gravity? Mm -hmm. Oh. It's either gravity or speed. Speed made a side. fuckload of money. I feel like everyone saw the blind side, not gonna lie. <laughs> it wasn't that it wasn't that big at the box office. It was like a big deal, but it wasn't that big at the box office. Watch, I, would, I say I that that's probably the right gravity. answer. Speed gravity. made a fuckload of money, dude. I've never heard of that movie. I've never <laughs> even heard of it. That's not my fault. 30 it's seconds. Not 80. It's gravity. I would vote yeah. gravity. I like gravity. Final answer. Okay. This is a big team wide discussion here. But it is gravity. Yes. yes. Good choice. No one I no one I tested that on even guessed gravity with multiple yeses. I was what not about minions. Minions? No, it's still gravity. Um okay. So Minions is Naruto, and that double paid off. It is now a one-point Chicken Hawks lead. Hell yeah. Five. Naruto is the category. Let's see if they can get it right back. Alex, your question is, which of Gamma Bunta's sons does Naruto accidentally summon in his fight against Gara? Gamakichi, finally. <laughs> Gamakichi. <laughs> it is Gamakichi. <laughs> there we go. Oh, Weeds, let's go! That was, that's like as far as I got in Naruto was fight against Kara. Hey, it's Gamma Kichi. <laughs> I'm young little weebs. All right. Gamma <laughs> Kichi. What is the English name of Zabuza's sword? The English name. It's, I, so let me be clear here. There's a translation of the Japanese name. In, in the English version of the show, it has its own name. I need the English version of the show name. Well, that's racist to people who watch the sub. No idea. All right. So, Eli and Cam. So, Zabuza, he's like, he's from the village hidden in the mist. You guys know who he is at all? No clue. You have no, no Naruto knowledge? <laughs> One season. First season. He's the very first arc. I think it's Sandra Bullock in the blind side. <laughs> yeah. Sounds about right. Bro, that's a crazy question. I think you're on your own, Spence. 
Um, what would his sword be called? Should have phoned a friend. Should have freaking phoned a friend. Does it stop the timer if we phone a friend? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, right, can I phone a friend? Phone friend, phone friend, phone friend, phone okay. friend. All right, phone right. friend here. So let me pause the timer. Okay, so you call your friend, has to be on speakerphone. When they answer, you'll have 30 seconds from me. I All right. I will be timing you. It's not the time of year, so pay attention to me. Oh, Jackie Wheels, dude. He's an encyclopedia when it comes to. So, like, Naruto. Like... Come on, Jack. Be rock. I get an answer. Be rock climbing. 20 bucks, he answers the phone with what's up. Uh, You're uh, oh, oh. Oh. All right, you have 15 seconds from now to come up with a guess. I got nothing. Also, I have nothing. I like that use of the phone a friend, but we're, we're... he would have known. He definitely would have known. Okay, I'm going to have to buzz you. <laughs> Roldale, you have 30 seconds to take the lead here. Executioner's Blade. Yep. Yep, final. It is the Executioner's Blade. You have regained the lead. Wow. Yo, boys. It is 7 like 6. Year. This is definitely the game of the week so far. Incredible. Chicken oh. Hawks use that phone of friend. All right. So we have two, excuse me, three categories left. Um, Chicken Hawks, your niche is still on the board. Roldale, you still have a phone of friend. So both teams have some sort of lifeline or niche available. College football is next question. I'm sorry, Cam. Um, no one can do anything here, so we'll just get right into it. Oh, I can phone. We can phone a friend. You can phone a friend, but I meant you're not going to do it before the rally. Yeah. Right, so, um, name the two teams that played in this Rose Bowl based off the starting quarterbacks: Kevin Hogan and C. Stanford and Iowa. Yep. Final. That is correct. Go. I have no idea. This one is for you guys to make it a one point game. The teams that played in this Rose Bowl Andy Dalton, Scott Tolzien. I don't even know who Andy Dalton played for. Me either. <laughs> that is probably not great. The We're going to go with. Uh, uh, Clarkson Club Football <laughs> and UVM Club Football, uh, Syracuse. The all time matchup. We can just like guess random schools. All right, let's go like USC, Notre Dame in the Rose Bowl. <laughs> I don't know, I don't watch football. <laughs> She was like traumatized. She had to. Like, I don't know. Throw something out. USC yeah. and 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 so Georgia. <laughs> right. I guess USC Georgia final answer. Incorrect. Big steal here would make it a three point game. TCU uh, exactly. Wisconsin. Yep, I was about to say that. Yep. TCU Wisconsin. I completely agree. Oh, I meant to not do that, but it doesn't matter. All right, it is nine to six. With four points remaining. So, there we go. Got to get them all. So, it's not – yes, you need to get them all to win or you need a net three for um, overtime. So, if Roldale gets a point for the rest of the game, they, they get win. We need a hockey phone, a friend, to think about. So, this is the NHL. Um, like I said, it's 9-6. to six. This will clinch the game for you. But regardless, you still we still play out the whole thing. Because, um, you know, we put hard work in these questions. We want to we wanna see them out. All right, Roldale, for the win, name the 2000 Stanley Cup champion based on three of their top point scorers. Eric Cole, Rod, Brenda Moore, and Justin Williams. Yo, use a phone, a friend, if you guys got one. Do you want me to try calling Jay Considine? Yeah. 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 Good idea. All right, I'm going to try calling him. We'll right. phone a friend. Okay, so your timer's off. Once he answers 30 seconds, uh, look at me. I'll be timing that, not on the timer bar. Okay. Roldale, phone a friend, and let's indicate it. Spence, you, you got this one? Yep. Me too. Uh. 
Uh, is, the, is this does 2000 mean? It's uh, he said Carolina. I don't know if you guys could hear that because I'm on my phone. Carolina, can you hear me? Yeah, you have 15 seconds. Carolina, why is it so? Go for what? it, yeah. Matt. Carolina. Carolina, final answer for the win. That is correct. Let's go. I got to go kiss Jay on the lips later. I love Jay. Great, great. Jay. Great idea. Let's speak your phone on that call. It was kind of stuck. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't actually realize what was happening there, but it's all right. Um, nah. nah. All right. Chicken Hawks, see if you guys can end strong. You've had a very good game so far, I will say. Um, you guys are going to be one of the better teams in the league. I'm very confident. This Stanley Cup champion, Scott Niedermeyer, Chris Kunitz, Chris Pronger. Anaheim. Yeah. Anaheim, 2007. Anaheim. Yep. Well, just just all your, you guys don't even need – you just need two Spencers, zero Eli's. Word. <laughs> all right, 10-7. <laughs> and we go into the last category. It's going to be 90s kids. You're going to see a, a 90s animated TV show. I'm going to need the name oh, of it. That's not easy. Yeah. I was Pax, talking to you like two years. Pax was born like 2006. <laughs> he was funny. born in 1975, so don't worry. All right, about it. Dale, name this 90s cartoon. That's Hey Arnold, isn't it? No, wait, wait. Oh. No. No. No, 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 no. I, that's why I said wait. I just is the animation style. You, um, it's some family, right? Um, Gosh. I think I've ever seen <laughs> that. I've seen. I don't know the name. Oh. That's tough. I don't know. That's definitely not. I said that way too fast. Um, the phone a friend it's not, won the it's game. It's not progress. The phone a friend won them the game. Yeah, it did. Monkey face people. Um, Isn't that the kid guess. from Rugrats in the background? No, yeah. this is Rugrats. This is a different thing. It's, a it's, it's not Rugrats, but it's a similar style. Sorry. Just yeah, just final, final answer. Okay, I don't know what you said, but I know it was wrong. Cam? Wild thornberries, easy. Yeah, wild thornberries. These the wild thornberries. All right, that makes it nine to eight. Oh, uh, excuse me, ten to eight. Um. So you can make this a one point game here to end your first game, which is very impressive. Um. I will say, yeah, that you definitely got hosed because if your phone a friend picks up on Naruto, you might win the game outright. If their phone a friend doesn't pick up, you might go into overtime here. Or actually, you might have won as well because you probably would have stolen Carolina. Get better friends. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> the bottom line. You live by the <laughs> friend, you die by the phone a friend. And you might want to bone up to college football. But here's yours. Name this 90s cartoon. <laughs> no. Recess. Oh, recess. Come yeah, on. I knew that one. I knew that one. Knew that one. Recess. <laughs> All right, so that is going to make our final tonight 10 to 9 in favor of Roll Dale. That was best game of the week by far. Two very strong teams, I think, that will both be in the playoff hunt. Really glad to have it back. Chicken Hawks, welcome to the league. Cam, can we get your uh, can we get your, your first thoughts on on the league and uh, and your team's game? What do you think? Um, it was good, good showing for our first match. Definitely rigged. Uh, <laughs> Brett Favre, Brett Favre and Eli Manning not equal questions right to start off. I mean, um, more than that, that <laughs> we'll be back. Uh, all I'm going to say is you you played the number two team in the league from last season to a one point game. Pags had the best game I've ever seen him have. So I mean, you guys, you guys are definitely in, in, in good shape. Um, so I wouldn't I wouldn't be too worried. Um, that was a very impressive performance. Unfortunately for you, you have my team next week, so that's not going to make it any easier. But then after that, uh, I think you guys are going to rack up a lot of wins. So we're going to get played out by the sweet sounds of Bacon Street. Thank you, everyone, for playing. Oh, Brett, are done. Bye.